Uh, what else have we done? You um, met with USADA. I met with USADA, the lawyers, yeah, and uh, answered their questions, anything they wanted. I know that was something else that wasn't mandatory, but that was something that I wanted to do to to let these guys know that I'm not trying to hide anything from them. And any questions that they want to ask me, then I'll, I'll you know, take as long as it takes to answer all the questions that we, what we did that day. We, I think we had two long meetings and something like that. Just me asking questions and just trying to prove that I had absolutely nothing to hide. It's just a really, this situation is like really, really crappy because it's just like, I don't understand how any of this happened and how this got my system. I'm trying to be super open and candid and make myself available to any, anyone, whether it's my team, their, their lawyers, you guys, uh, that do farther tests and whatever I could do to just try to prove that none of this stuff makes sense to me. As much as it makes no sense to know to you guys being here, it's just like, imagine being me. I have no clue how this happened. No clue how it happened. I'm just trying to figure it out, just like everybody else. What do, you, what do you say in response to, in the, in the uh, brief of the executive officer, they, they go through the past uh, incidents you've had with um, you know, DUIs and uh, crashes and fights, and, and they say that it, it's a demonstration of a pattern of poor judgment and reckless behavior that should be taken into account in determining the penalty here. What do you, what do you say to that? Well, 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 our past is something that none of us can escape, and I've definitely done a lot of things that were just flat out stupid throughout my early 20s, um, but I've also been the person who's had to deal with everything that I've ever done and wreak, uh, you know, deal with the, the punishments for everything, whether that's being incarcerated, whether that is, you know, having, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars Taken whether that's whether that's probation, whether that's talking to you know almost a hundred different schools, talking to kids about the things I've done, make my mistake, you know, to make things right. It's been it's been a process, um, but I feel like I've, I've definitely been putting forth so much effort to make things better and better because I understand that my, my life is an example to other people, um, and so. Looking yourself in the mirror, realizing that you are messing it up. Um, I've really tried to do everything in my power to get my life together and ultimately show the world, show kids like, dude, you can make it through no matter how how silly things are looking for you at, at a time. You can make it through this thing. And that's what I've been trying to do is live and prove to people that you can get it together. And uh, unfortunately, um, I've had some science stuff happen to me that is really reflective and kind of put me in this position of just being a, a lost cause or, or a screw up. And that's not who I am. I really, really, really want, really want people to see that, that it is not too late to get it together. And that's what I've been trying to do. Um, this, this situation with the, uh, with the Mel enhancement pill that just so happened to be tainted, you know, it was, in a way it, it was a weird blessing in disguise because it was able to show like, you know, in that conclusion of the last situation, people were, saying, well, negligence, he was negligent, he took a no enhancement pill that he didn't check with his side. Outside of that, this was completely non-intentional. It's like, you know, you can call me many things, you can call me a little bit of a party boy or a little bit of a wild guy or a knucklehead, but a cheater is something that I will never, ever admit to. Um, and admit to is not the word I want to use, it's like, that's something that I will never say that I am, because that's, that's just not who I am. Um, so, I mean, I'm not to babble on this, just, I just really hope that my past situations don't, don't really put me in a certain light. Because like I said, we, none of us can accept the dumb stuff that we've done throughout our early 20s. Um,